uncovered information that shows a federal investigation is likely underway involving Georgia's prison system. It involves allegations of poor prison conditions and staffing, putting inmates and putting officers in danger. Reveal investigator Andy Parati spoke to numerous officers at one prison who repeatedly raised alarm bells years before it reached a boiling point. <laughs> I'm review investigator Andy Parati at 11 Alive investigation has uncovered a former poster child employee for the Georgia Department of Corrections blowing the whistle on what the state knew before a dangerous prison riot last year. I, 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 hospital, man. You could hear explosions from inside. Oh, yeah. It's just a mob of people. Jonathan Daniels describes responding to an unfolding riot at Ware State Prison in Waycross, Georgia. Inmates had um, gotten a hold of officers' equipment, keys, and radios. At least 500 inmates roaming free in August 2020. Two officers taken hostage. The Georgia Department of Corrections identified the riot as an isolated disturbance on its website but a reveal investigation uncovered former correctional officers who paint a picture of systemic problems for years, often ignored by their supervisors. They have been silent. They have refused our requests for records in some situations. Sarah Tatanchi is the executive director of the Southern Center for Human Rights. After their concerns fell on deaf ears, it sent this letter to the U.S. Justice Department outlying unconstitutional conditions and pleading for the federal government to step in. This problem is too big to just power through. We need significant intervention. The day after the prison riot, Daniels resigned. A significant turnaround for a man who is one of the agency's poster child employees. His face used for recruiting. Yeah, I'm actually literally on the billboard. Were you proud when you first saw that billboard? Yeah. Today, how do you feel? I feel sad for the people that still have to work there. When you factor in the working conditions and the dangers, you know, multiplied by the fact that you don't have the help that you need, it's not worth it.